All right guys, so here's the Mountain Shelter LT um, and the packaging that it comes in from Mountain Smith. The great thing about this stuff sack, I mean, I used it last year. You could certainly get away if you got a compression sack with making, you know, there's definitely plenty of space in here, I should say, if, if uh, size is a factor, you may want to use something else. But the great thing is, um, assembly instructions are on the back, the dimensions, the layout, the contents, all that fun stuff. So you can see um, everything that comes with it, 13 stakes, the tarp body, of course, um, two storage sacks, this main one, and then one inside for the stakes. Five guy lines which come attached. They're nice guy lines, they're reflective, um, so that's a bonus. Um, and then the two trekking poles that are required for setup. You can also use two of the overhead guy lines if you're sitting up in a place where there's plenty of trees. You could tie it, um, let's see if you can see it here. You could tie up the top guy lines to trees and not use the trekking poles. Um, you could use sticks, I guess, if you wanted to cut sticks to the right length. But I happen to carry the trekking poles anyway, so that's how I set it up. So let's get all this out and get it going. Okay, so here we are. I'm sort of sitting inside the door of the Mountain Shelter LT. I wanted to show you sort of the interior layout. Um, first of all, I want to note that this is not pitched correctly. Um, this is February, our ground is rock hard, so I didn't drive my stakes all the way in and sort of threw this up without even staking it all the way out. So if it looks a little bit uh, saggy and things of that nature, it certainly is. So the inside layout, as you can see, here's our front checking pole, um, goes all the way up in the inside. Um, and provides good headspace. So I'm, as I mentioned, six foot three, no problem sitting up in the front of the shelter um, at all to change clothes or cook, anything of that nature. So you can see that it sort of divides the shelter in half. Um, so you can have one um, sleeping pad, sleeping bag, one person sleeping over here, and then another over one there. One interesting note with the trekking poles, you can see this lower section here and some markings. Um, that is for setup and trekking pole layout. So you can see here, um, if you can see, it has markings. That one says front pole. The next one down here says rear pole. And then finally down at the bottom, that says ground there. So all you need to do to set this up is grab your trekking poles, lay them out according to that scale, and you now have your trekking poles at the perfect height. So I will tell you um, from experience that this shelter will stand up to some conditions. Um, when we were in Colorado last year, um, one of the nights we were up around 9,000 feet, had insane, insane winds, um, pushing 60 miles an hour frequently, literally had aspens falling over, um, and this shelter was solid. Obviously, we staked it out much better than I have here today in this frozen ground. So in addition to the eight stakeout points that you can see on the outside of the shelter, there are several guy out points here. So you can guy this out and get even more headspace. Um, you can use this guy out point here. Then there's also some Velcro and mesh up in there so you get nice ventilation to prevent condensation. All of the guy out cords are included and it's very nice because they're reflective. Um, so very, very nice guy out, point, uh, guy out points in the cord. You can see there the overall um, shape and size. So it's great. Obviously higher up front, a little bit lower in the back where you don't need it. The uh, front side here, I have the door wide open, but you can close that door and completely seal things off at night. Um, and it's just really a great option. So two pounds, a little over a hundred bucks, the Mountain Smith Mountain Shelter LT.